Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a box in a bag and it's square one and it's a square box. So I think we're in for a diamond painting project and a few other little goodies as well. Lots of really nice stuff this time. And these have come to me from OneDaySaving.com. Uh, yes, they asked me if I'd like some products to show on the channel. I said, yes, of course. I love your products. I've uh, been showing them for quite a long time now and I just absolutely love them. And there are lots of special offers on at the moment um there's the standard if you spend over 50 dollars, you get two free gifts and have a look at your shipping offers as well but there are also some fantastic special offers on for black friday i'll put some screenshots in um but it starts off with three dollars off if you spend over 39 dollars uh six dollars off if you spend over 79 dollars and it goes right up in increments and there are some ten dollar coupons as well so go and check those out i'll put full details of all the black friday deals uh, in the description down below as well do check out those offers because we all like free and special offers well i do anyway i always try not to pay full price for anything if i can help it <laughs> okay so there's our little box project and the box has got a little bit squished but that is fine because that's what boxes are for to stop things from getting damaged and we have ooh diamond painting and another diamond painting yay <laughs> okay what shall we look at first let's look at what's in the box first and we'll have a look at the diamond paintings in a second so let's have a look at this one uh, they asked if I would like one of these to do show uh, because they're a new product in I said oh yes of course we always like new products and it's a Christmassy product, so even better because we love new and we love Christmas. So let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's spectacular. Loving that. Look at all the special drills that are going to be on that one. Okay, let's get all our bits and pieces out of our box. Wow. Look at those. Look at those. So it's all crystals and special drills. Oh, there's some fab ones in there. Put those out the way and we'll have a look at those in a minute. We've got our lovely little acrylic stand, which has got a dust cover on both sides. So that's just like a cover to uh, stop it from getting scratched and stop it from getting bits of fluff and things on it while it comes to us. So it's just a case of peeling those off and that stand will be completely clear. I'm loving the fact now that the stands are actually coming that little bit thicker. Um, if you remember last year and the year before, you used to get two pieces of quite thin acrylic and you had to stick them together. And sometimes it was a little bit difficult to line them up to make sure that you got your little slot in the middle so that the, uh, your little project stood in them. But now they're actually sending out these thicker bases and obviously it's a bit heavier as well. So it stops things from wobbling and falling over. But it saves the faff of having to stick them both together. So that's brilliant. So I'm loving that. That's a real bonus. We've got our pen button wax as normal. But look at this one. There's lots of different ones in this series. All your acrylic Christmas tree projects. Um, and you're literally diamond painting practically the whole of it. There's very few little gaps in between. So this is going to be so sparkly and so many gems on it. Again, it's got um, a cover on the back, so that will, I don't think I can quite get it up. And I don't want to take it all off yet. You can see it's just starting to come up there. So again, like the base, it's just got this like cover sheet on it just to stop it from getting scratched. Uh, once you've finished uh, your damn painting, just take that off the back and it just uh, makes everything in the background clear. And then it, once it's done, you can just stand it in its little base. And there you go. You've got this lovely little Christmas tree. Um, I just liked the pink. I mean, you know, I love my hot pink. Uh, but yeah, I just thought, oh, I love the pink. I think that is just stunning. And there is so many drills and gems on this. It's going to look fabulous. And I thought, yay, we'll have a little pink corner this year. Last year, as I said, I'm normally uh, very traditional. Uh, red, gold and green is my Christmas colours and everything's red, gold and green. And last year I branched out and had like a little corner that was silver and blue. And I put all my silver and blue things all together. And this year there's quite a few pink things coming out. 
And I thought, yeah, why not? Let's have a pink corner as well. So I'm going to have a pink corner and this will be in that pink corner. So, yeah, because I've got so many, I can now start sectioning off. <laughs> As to what I can have. My house is just wonderful at Christmas and I love Christmas. Let's give it a quick measure. Uh, the price of this one is £9. So I think for an item that's going to last you, um, you know, if you, I would seal it before you put it away. I've learnt my lesson by putting things away and not sealing them and the gems have moved and gems have come off. Uh, not because they're not sticky underneath, but because, you know, they are only on top of something. And with the best one in the world, if you start pushing things with a lot of pressure, they are going to come off. So, yeah, um, it does pay to seal things. Uh, this is 24 centimetres, nine and a half inches that way. And we'll go to the base because that'll be the height from the uh, when you've put it into the base is 10 inches which is about 25 and a half, 26 centimetres. So yay, lovely size. But isn't that pretty? Oh, wonderful. Actually, um, our daughter has uh, a pink Christmas tree. Um, well, the tree's green, but she uh, decorates it all in pink. I think, I think it's pink and gold she does. I don't know if it's pink and silver. I think it's pink and gold. Um, I know she went away from traditional Christmas tree because I collect cr um, glass Christmas tree toys. So my Christmas tree t tends to be very old fashioned traditional. Um, but I know a lot of people now and when you go around the stores, um, everything's sort of like themed as to different colours. So, yeah. That would look very nice in her house. I may send her it actually as a Christmas card rather than actually sending her a Christmas card. I may send her a Christmas tree that she can bring out year after year. Yay! Now there's an idea. Mm. Like that idea. So let's have a look at the crystals. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Sadly, there's no spares. Um, we do need the two. Look at the iridescent coating on those. It's nearly like an eyeball. The way the colour starts. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. The colour sort of starts in the middle and goes to the outside. Very, very pretty. Wow. So we do need the two. No spares, but that's fine. I don't mind. As long as you've got enough to do it, that's all that really counts. I'm just greedy. I like spares. <laughs> okay, so let us see. We have spare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different gems and colours. <gasps> and it's got hot pink. Of course it's got hot pink. It's a list project. It has to have hot, have hot pink. So we have a pale pink to start off with. And a lemony gold. And that's like a sagey greeny colour. That's a different one. And look at these hot pinks. Two different shades of hot pink. Not just one. And that's like a yellowy greeny colour. Very pale. But look at those. Oh, I've not had those before. I don't think I have. They've got um, like a bubblegum pink base. And then the actual gem is like an iridescent star stamped in the top. I think I can get a bit closer on there. See if I can. Oh, look at that. Well done, camera. Yeah, it was playing me up earlier, but it seems to be working quite nicely now. They are stunning. And then we've got some little gold teardrops with lots of facets on there. Very pretty. Some of those gorgeous little uh, marquees and there's no facets on those and then some larger size ones i do think these are lovely they give a real different effect when there's no facets on them you like get that sort of like iridescent quality to them where you just get the shine a little bit like glass and then we've got some gold large rounds so it looks like they're going to be the gold large rounds are there the middles of the flowers and then we've got your two larger ones, the iridescence, which they're like the baubles. And then the rest are all going to be the flowers and the leaves. So that is a gorgeous colour palette. But look at those. I've not, I don't think I've seen those before. I will let you know when I kick down whether I have had them before. But yeah, we had to get a pink Christmas tree. So looking forward to getting this one done. So I don't think it's. Uh, I was going to say I was going to go in my the pink corner but I think uh, yeah because there is I mean once you've got all of your gems on if you want to put a little message on the back um I would suggest maybe not writing on the back but actually you know you can put um a little sticker um or a little verse or something on the back 
uh, or you could even just you know to the base um, you could thread through with a bit of string on the base and just attach a little card that says Merry Christmas and uh, yeah I think that would be quite nice rather than a Christmas card. I have given out uh, some of these uh, hangers and uh, little ornaments as cards rather than just giving people cards and they've gone down really well. I think it's because it's like a keepsake as well. It tends to be uh, for special occasions, but Christmas is a special occasion. Yay! <laughs> okay, so that's our lovely little tree. Enjoying that one. Wow, and if you get it with money off as well, that makes it even better value. Right, let's have a look at this one. Uh, we are still just in November. So I did get this one to get done. Unfortunately, uh, because I have been poorly, I've not managed to get uh, my canvases done that I wanted to get done. So I'm way behind on everything. But never mind. But I just thought this one was really, really sweet. And it just uh, yeah, made me smile. Oh. Okay, pen, bow and wax as normal. It's a little special 30 by 30. And it is one of the round ones. And I do tend to, when I get a round one, like a plate, I tend to cut them out and put them on a piece of mount board rather than putting them into a frame. And then uh, it just makes them more like a plate on the wall and then I have an arrangement. This one will have to go into my blue and silver corner, I think. Um, but yeah, look at that. Do you want to build a snowman? And actually, that's my favourite song from that film. Um, from Frozen. I know everybody likes the Let It Go one, but uh, I just loved the Do You Want to Build a Snowman song. Um, yeah, no, that's the one I always sing along with when it comes on. So when I saw a canvas that actually had it, I just thought, I've got to have that. Uh, I didn't quite realise he hasn't got his head on yet. <laughs> so this snowman hasn't been built yet. Um, he's got his little body look and he's got a heart. Oh, and there's little snowflakes all round. And uh, this little donkey's just putting the head on and then he's got his hat and his carrot nose and he's got another little arm there to put on and his little eyes and what will that be? Oh, that'll be his mouth. So he'll have a smiley mouth, hopefully, as well. And then we've just got a little snow. But this gonk has actually got a mouth look. He's actually smiling, which is different as well, because usually all you get is um, like a little nose. Oh, you can see his ears as well. Look. Oh, he's really cute love that he's got his little mittens on as well and his little boots oh i love it do you know the more i look at this the more i love it i'm a big kid at heart what can i say <laughs> so it's nine different gems and colors uh, there is no crystal code or anything on this one so it will be generic kitting down uh, which i will be doing hopefully i can get this one done um i don't you know like it i'm gonna have to be a little bit selective i think on uh, what I can get done because I have lost about 10 days of diamond painting um, where I was going to get all my um, sort of gonk and gnome um, for November done do all the Christmassy ones like that and then I could move on to my Christmas ones but I've not got those done so yeah I'm going to have to go through and see what I've got and see what uh, I can get done Yeah, I don't want to um, overdo things and get myself run down again yeah that wouldn't be a good look. Anyway, I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to moan. Um, <laughs> it's coming up to Christmas. Yay! It is my favourite time of year, I have to say. Autumn is my favourite season. And then the run up to Christmas. I'm such a big kid. I love going in the shops and seeing all the things and everything that says try me. I just have to go along and try. And uh, yeah, I probably drive all the people in the stores mad. But it won't just be me because everybody, well, most people like to go along and try all the things, don't they? And I have, even though I haven't had enough snow in the last few years to build a snow scotty, which I am fingers crossed, hopefully I will get enough snow to build a snow scotty. Um, I have got a light up scotty dog and it's white, so it looks like a snow scotty. So even if it doesn't snow, I have got a snow scotty. Um, yeah, somebody had put it in one of the groups, one of the scotty groups that I belong. Uh, yeah, I do have a little Scottish terrier dog called Millie Moo. She is uh, laid at my feet at the moment, joining in with me, uh, wanting to know what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, uh, somebody put, oh, look, this shop, I can't remember, it was one of the online Christmas shops, has got uh, a Scotty dog. And I thought, wow. And yeah, Millie's black. 
but actually it's such a bright light i mean you can probably see it from space when you switch it on it's brilliant so uh, yeah that will be coming out actually i might even get that out of its box tonight and put that up just to it's not been a brilliant week with uh, myself and hubby being not very well so yeah let's cheer ourselves up i'm doing unboxings and looking at these fantastic products and let's get my snow scotty out as well sounds like a plan anyway let's have a look at these gems so there is nine of them and we'll start at this end with the lovely sparkly clear crystals and then we've got this gorgeous deep blue color very very nice that's going to be a great contrast and then this dark purple Oh, that's marvellous. I love that colour. See if we can get it a little bit closer so you can see the colours a bit better. That's it. That's like a chestnutty browny colour. I'm thinking that might be for the like twig arms and things. A little bit of standard black for his buttons. And then we have some lovely aqua blue there. These colours are gorgeous. That's, oh, look, we've got aqua blues escaped into there. That's like a greyy sort of, I don't know, has it got a tinge of green? So sort of no more of a grey champagne colour that one. Let's see if we can just get it. I must get these lights sorted. Then we have some little marquees with an iridescent coating and then lots of little stars. Look at those. Oh, we like a star. We have to have a star for Christmas. But uh, yeah, aren't they pretty? So not too much to do on this one actually. There's a few sort of bits dotted about, but mainly it's the characters in the middle. But yeah, oh, do you want to build a snowman? I'm not going to sing. Um, mind you, just because I can't sing doesn't mean to say I won't. I do like to have a good old sing, particularly in the car. <laughs> Whether I've got the windows open or not. <laughs> oh, that is just super. And that one was only £4, so that's a fantastic price. Uh, for something that you can bring out year after year. I mean, if you like sending people big cards, then you could even cut that out and put it on a card. But uh, no, this will be going on the wall in my blue and silver corner. Okay. And then the last one. Let me just move that one out of the way. Again, this one was £4. And this is more of a traditional special drill Christmas painting. And yeah, it's not cute and cuddly, but it's traditional Christmas. And I just thought, ooh. Again, there was a few different ones of this. It's like a parcel. Um, so you could do quite a few on the wall. You know, just do uh, maybe four, put four in four square frames. Or you could actually cut them out. Again, it's not a bad shape. I know you've got to cut around your holly leaves a little bit. But if you do seal the edges, you just go around with a sealer. Um, it does stop it from fraying, or I've found it stops it from uh, fraying or the edges splitting. Um, and then you could just use it as like a parcel, flat on the wall. So, you know, if you've got one of those Christmas trees that's flat on the wall, if you've not got a lot of space, you could put some parcels at the bottom of it, get a few of the different ones and put them underneath the tree, as it were, and they'll be all sparkly and pretty, and they're not taking up any floor space. So there's an idea. The only thing is, of course, there's nothing in them. You won't be able to open them and that's really sad. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, uh, I don't know whether we're doing Christmas presents this year. Um, I don't know what we're doing sort of Christmas present wise this year because we do tend to, you know, if, if we see things, we're very much that we've spent so many years saying, oh, I'm going to get that. And then by the time you've got the money or the time to go and get it, they're not available anymore. So we do tend to buy things as we see them now and put them away for later. So we haven't really got any Christmas shopping left to do. It's all done. Uh, it's just a case of getting it out now, wrapping bits and pieces that I need to do. But it's quite nice. I'm pleased because I've ended up... Um, being poorly i'm pleased that i got all my christmas sort of sorted out um sort of october september october time so now i don't have to worry at least about that uh, i am quite concerned that i've not got as many diamond paintings done that i wanted to do but never mind anyway pen boat and wax let's have a look at these gems oh so oh this one's only got five different colors and we do have a hue 
on there as well. So the special shape, the large rounds, are actually a Q114. So I'm sure that I've had large rounds in red with a Q number before. So it does seem as though the companies do all use the same sort of crystal codes. It's just that um, they don't always have them on the canvases. So, but look at that, we have... Oh, it's silver, it's not gold. So it's red, green and silver, which is close enough. Um, yeah, so we've got the two different greens, like a, a limey green and a Christmassy green. Your Christmassy red, your lovely silver, and then your big red for your berries. So, yeah, I didn't expect it to be silver. I don't know why I was thinking it would be gold, but it is white, isn't it? So I could always swap them out for gold. There's nothing to stop you if you've got, you know, spare drills, you can swap them out. Where do they go anyway? Number threes. Where are the number threes? Let me have a look where they are. All right. Number three is the, all the edge of the box. So, yeah, I mean, you could always swap that out if you wanted to for uh, a gold. But I probably will leave it as the silver, actually, because it, with, it's going to be predominantly red and green in the middle, isn't it? So it's just edging in silver. That's fine. But I don't think I possibly will cut this one out. Um, mm, I've got so much to do. I think what I'm going to do as well is make a video um, of all the Christmas things that I've got to do and all the Christmas things that I've already got. So watch this space. There will be videos coming with all my Christmas things on. Oh, my goodness. And it may take a while because I've got a lot. <laughs> But yeah, so £4 again for this fantastic diamond painting, 30 by 30. And it's a nice sort of like palish bluey grey background as well. So quite a nice neutral background just to uh, pop in a little 30 by 30 frame. Or, well, 25 by 25 it will be. I'll give it a quick measure because it will go if you've got any of the magnetic frames. My favourites for just popping things in and out of. Yeah, 25 centimetres nine and three quarter inches square so and uh, yeah your little snow your little uh, gonk snowmanny one will be as well so yeah i'm uh, really really pleased with these all of these love one day saving they've got some fantastic products on the website at the moment do sign up for the newsletters because you get the newsletter through with all the new things on it you think oh look at that and my wish list just gets longer and longer and longer and longer. <laughs> okay, let me just move those out of the way. So we've had our lovely Christmas present. We've had our Joanna Bell the Snowman. And our fantastic Christmas tree. I love that. I love the colours of it. I love the fact that it's got a hot pink in it. And it's just, yeah, wonderful. But I don't think it's going to be going out as a Christmas card to somebody. Okay, well, huge thank you to One Day Saving for sending me these. Love them as always. Do go and check out all their special offers on the website. And um, if you're watching this in a couple of months' time, then do double check what the offers are and what's going on at the moment. They usually have some really good offers on, and uh, you may get yourself some money off and some free gifts. Yay, we like free. Okay. okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Oh, look, I've got a shadow on my thumb. <laughs> Could do animals. No, no, no. <laughs> Any comments or questions in the comments down below? I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of our videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay. Okay. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.